Situation for students in Elk Grove. Three students robbed all within 40 minutes. The scary moments all played out yesterday. Two of them just blocks apart. CBS 13's Marissa Perlman is live for us in Elk Grove with much more on these attacks and the community concern. Marissa. This was certainly the talk of the town across Elk Grove today, especially in one middle school where two of those victims go to school. And here in the shopping center on Elk Grove Boulevard, it's where some of those students hang out every day outside of this pizza place and this coffee shop. It's also the place where one of those students was attacked and robbed just yesterday afternoon. I think they're still looking for the guy, so. That's scary. High school sophomore Lauren and her mom Heather asked us to hide their identity. They know one of the victims of Thursday's robbery and they don't want to be next. He said, Can I have your phone? Like, give me your phone. And he gave him his phone and then he said, um, Like, what's the password? And he didn't answer and so he pulled out the gun. He said, what's the password? And so he gave him the password. Three robberies in 40 minutes, all involving students. Police tell us this is not normal for this community. It's like kind of scary, you know, like that could happen. But I know I'm aware. The first robbery of the day actually happened here on Denali Circle in this residential neighborhood. Police aren't sure if this one is related to the other two, but they're not ruling it out yet. The other two happened 10 minutes and just a few blocks apart. First in this shopping center on Elk Grove Boulevard and then near the high school on Traley Way. Those students are just in junior high. Something that terrifies their that classmates. Like, that can happen to anybody. Extra patrols were on hand around the school and near the sites where the robberies happened. For Lauren's mom, she still calls this community safe. I feel like it happens everywhere. We have a really active community um, where we have a couple of Facebook groups and we're constantly hearing about every, I feel like every single event. So it may seem like a lot, mm -hmm. but if you look at the statistics, you know, Elk Grove is a safe place to live. Now, thankfully, police say none of the victims were seriously hurt. Two of them did have their property stolen, including that cell phone that you heard about there. Tonight, police are looking for at least four men who could be responsible for doing this. Back to you. Hopefully, they'll bust them soon. Marissa, thank you. Live in Elk Grove tonight.